What's up gamers, it's Alex from Computer Headquarters and I'm back at it with another Land Center video, build video. This is, we're just kind of calling this the ROG build. This is like most of the top end newest ROG stuff all in one system and I'm really excited for this. And I'm especially excited about this. This is like, this is gonna be taking our build to the next level right here. You'll see what this is a little bit later or in a second when I tell you what it is, but Anyway, this is uh, build number seven in our land center here at our office. So we did the Gigabyte Limited Edition build, we did the Zaku build, we did the first person shooter build, we did the uh, ROG Eye of Faith build, we did the Demon Slayer, um, is it, I forgot the guy's name, Zen Jitsu or something like that, I probably butchered that name, sorry. We did that build, we did the R uh, Cougar Conquer build, and now this is the ROG High End build, or whatever you wanna call it, ROG build. Um, yeah, pretty excited. So, um, I just want to tell you guys, this is like, it's really hard to tell you how much work we put into this. Every single one of these builds, hours and hours of work. The Cougar build behind the cameraman right now, I think we're in eight hours without even video editing it. Um, it's just a ton of, a ton of stuff. And we could be just building computers to sell online. I could be doing regular business stuff that I usually do. But instead, I'm doing this, and I hope you guys really appreciate it, and I hope you guys can like and subscribe at least. I know it's corny to say that, but it helps us out a lot because we're trying to grow our channel so that if we wanna keep making YouTube videos like this, that maybe we can make some AdSense money or something to make up for it. Maybe more people will buy computers from us to help make up for the time we're putting in. So I hope you guys understand that and we don't sound too corny for a second. But I also wanna remind everyone, there's a giveaway PC coming up. Um, I've talked about that in every video so far. If you look in the description, I'll tell you exactly how to enter. It'll be free to enter. You do not need to buy anything. So check that out. And yeah, let's talk about all the parts in the ROG build here. So, um, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Let's start here. This is a big box right here. So this is the new, uh, top of the line ROG case, which is called the Hype Period. I believe it showcased last year at CES. I got to see one in person and I immediately sent an email to my rep and I was like, hey, how do I get a Hyperion? I want one for this land center. I was like, had to have it, right? And she was like, I got you, it's coming. So thank you if you're watching this video and you work at Asus and you know who you are because you're the best and you help me with everything. Um, and we'll just go move up the line here. We've got uh, ROG Strix z 7 e uh, motherboard and we have a copper delitted 13900K. So that's gonna be really nice. That should be really good cooling. We put the copper lid on the top there. Uh, we have the ROG Strix RTX 4080 OC version, 16 gig card. I know you, some people might be hissing at me. Why didn't you do a 4090? Well, I really didn't think we needed one for the games that we play in this land center. It'd be pretty overkill. Plus, we'll probably end up upgrading to one at some point in the future. Hint, hint, there's another build coming that's gonna be, I'm not even gonna tell you, but I already have a plan for this to be upgraded to another level in the future. I can't even tell you what that is yet. You'll have to just follow our videos in the next few months. But um, what do we got here? We have a, an ROG Ryujin 3, 360 a, uh, ARGB AIO. This is like the newest, latest and greatest. These just came out. And the um, Ryujin 2 is still really hard to get a lot of times, sold out all the time. And we just, I splurged, I bought that brand new straight from ASUS. I just felt like if we didn't use that, it wouldn't be the latest and greatest. And that's kind of what we wanted on this build. Future Alex here editing the video and I just want to point something out. We recorded this footage all the way back in August, September, 2023. It's currently March, 2024. A lot has changed since this video was recorded. 4900Ks have came out, super cards have came out etc cetera, etc cetera. so at the time we recorded it when we're saying the latest and greatest stuff that's because it was but it took us so much work and time to get all these videos recorded and edited that this is what you're getting with some little quirks like this so anyway back to the video and yes my sweatshirt's leopard uh we have the thor 1000 watt uh platinum p2 or something like that it's a thousand watt and it's pcie 5.0 so this is their newest Thor power supply. Um, and then we have, and that's, sorry, that's a factory refurb, which I need to remind myself to tell you guys about factory refurb in a minute here. But uh, this is the ROG Harpy Ace Aim Lab Edition wireless mouse. And I use this at my house. I, I switched to this recently from a Logitech um, 
I think it was a hero or something, pro. The, I guess it's just a pro. I love this mouse. It's the best mouse I've ever used. And I felt like I had to have this mouse for the setup. And we have the matching mouse pad, which is the same, it's the AimLab edition mouse pad. So this is like just a mouse pad. It's not like an under keyboard mouse mat or whatever. So this is a little bit more of a square versus a rectangle. And then we have the ROG Azoth mechanical keyboard. I love this keyboard. I tried it at my house. I loved it. The only reason why I didn't keep it at my house and brought it here was because I actually use a 10 key all the time for work. Um, I use my gaming PC for work at home all the time. So have to have the 10 key, but it's perfect for this build. And I'm missing some stuff. Red carbon fiber wrap for the desk because we don't like the maple color. Um, we have an Asus something ROG Strix monitor. I can't remember which one, but it's probably, I think it's QHD 165 Hertz, maybe 240 Hertz, I can't remember, but it's a high-end ROG monitor that we've had in the warehouse for a while. And then I guess the biggest thing that I'm the most excited for is this right here. Um, and it's called the ROG Chariot. It is a ROG chair. It's a gaming chair. I believe it has RGBs in the chair. I don't know how that works, but it's probably a battery pack. So guys, there's one thing that I forgot to mention about this build right here. This is the same thing I say in pretty much every video. So our company is called Computer Headquarters. We sell on eBay, we sell on Amazon, we sell on Newegg, and our biggest thing that we do is selling factory refurbished parts. So in every build we do in here, we always use anything factory refurbished if we have it in stock. So in this particular build, we didn't have a whole lot of stuff in stock refurb because a lot of this stuff is the latest and greatest newest stuff. And there's usually not a whole lot of refurbished of the newest stuff. But there were a couple things that we were able to get. We got the Z790E gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. This is factory refurbished straight from Asus. Same with the video card. RTX 4080 Strix straight from Asus. And then finally the 1000 watt power supply literally just came in today. We've been waiting to start this video for that power supply. So everything else was brand new. Uh, sorry, not everything was brand new. I bought this mouse uh, Amazon warehouse, re uh, used good or something like that. Well, I'm editing this video and unfortunately it seems that we lost some of the clips that were recorded. So when we built that ROG chariot chair and uh, when we built a lot of the computer, like putting the CPU into the motherboard, putting the RAM in, SSD, like a lot of that stuff especially, for whatever reason, those clips are gone. Um, there was an employee that had access to the phone at one point that no longer works here, and apparently what I was told is maybe he deleted them by accident. Um, I don't really know. There's no way to know what happened with it, but they're, they're not here. So uh, it gives us an opportunity to talk to you guys, the viewers. I'm hoping that you've watched the previous Land Center videos. Uh, we're on like episode seven. This is episode seven, right? So with the missing clips, it means that we're going to have a lot less time lapsing in this video. So it's going to be kind of like starting like we are what everything you saw. Here's what we got. And then a little bit of time lapse because stuff's missing. And then here's the PC. And so the, the, the whole video is probably going to be significantly shorter. I actually would really like to know if you guys like that better. Do you want less time lapse? Is the time lapse great? Do you love the time lapse of us building the PC? Or is the time lapse boring and you're like, oh man, I'm so glad the time lapse is gone. This video is shorter. I really just want to see like the intro of what it's going to be. And then I want to see the result at the end and I don't want the middle. So let us know in the comments. Appreciate your advice.
yeah, that thing is massive, very tinted window. I'm not happy about the tint, just to be honest with you. I, I really hate this tint thing that a lot of the manufacturers have been doing for the past, I don't know, five or 10 years where they think it's like a window tint on your car, but it's to totally the opposite. No one wants, you don't want people to see into your car. That's why you tint your windows. Well, everyone wants to see inside of their computer case, all the work that they did. Why would you tint it? Um, anyway, complaints aside, we're about to get our first startup here. Derek's gonna get the mouse and keyboard. Oh yeah, and obviously we, we got the wrap onto the table a minute ago. Just finished the wrap. Whoa. Oh, we don't get demonetized for that, Derek. Oh wait, we're not monetized. But maybe we will by the time this video comes out. Actually, I think you just need a thousand subscribers and there's something else, so maybe we just need to turn it on. We might It might be available now. Blah, blah, blah. I think so. Yeah. Alex talks a lot. Let's see that drog strength. Break the box open like it's Christmas and you're five. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a box. Yeah, so I was under the impression this is like just a, a side mouse mat, like just just a mouse, not a keyboard under mat, just a mouse. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's like the full thing. Uh, it's awkward size. It's not enough for a keyboard. It's just gigantic for a mouse. And I believe that's what pro gamers want. Getting out your harpy ace. Knife time again. Demonetization. More tape? Nope. Okay. We gotta make sure the USB dongle is here. Yep. That is very light. I know. That's I so usually scary. don't like. I don't usually like the light mice, but I really like that one. Watch out with that knife, dude. It almost skated right into it. All right, now you got the keyboard left. Now we need a display port cable and two power cables. And we can turn the computer on. Let's see what you've done. It's so awkward. The keyboard's super small, which is great, but the mouse pad is so huge, but not the right size. The mouse pad needs to be like right there. All the way to the corner. Maybe the desk will like lean over. Okay, now the mouse mat can go over. Now the keyboard can go over. That's pretty centered. Yeah, that's centered. That's like this, the most people's hands would probably be more over to the left side. Yeah, that would work. All right, so here we are on the desktop and we'll do just a quick little browse of everything. Um, we have the Azoth keyboard out here now, which is great. It's got that cool OLED screen. And uh, for anyone that's interested in the Azoth, they actually came out with a newer version now that you could find online. And it has something called snow switches. Apparently everyone's gone bonkers over the snow switches. Um, I was at CES this year now, 2024, so that was very recent. And I was able to kind of demo one at the uh, at the Asus booth and it was really really nice for a you know off the shelf uh, something you could just order that you didn't custom build really really high quality keyboard can't recommend it enough I've been using this mouse for a very long time now at my own house and I've switched to this at my work computer as well I started uh, we got a lot of these in that we've been selling as factory reefer from Asus and I don't know if we still have them in stock but a lot of my employees have actually bought these as a company purchase or whatever and every, a lot of people have been giving me positive feedback about these as well. And then this chair, Ooh, this thing is awesome. It's really comfortable. Um, it's it's padded really well. And I really like that this is adjustable. It's like some airplanes have stuff like this. Um, so you can adjust the headrest. This is like a mirror. Hello. And RGBs come through that if you put the battery pack on the back. It has a really nice pillow that stays put, doesn't fall off like some of the other chairs that I've had um that lights up in the back rgb you have to put a, a battery bank into this little thing with the cable 
and then you've got like a simulated carbon fiber back and you've got these straps that look a lot like racing harnesses uh, for like a race car. So honestly, I'm really impressed with the overall chair itself. Um, I think the link we showed you or the picture of the link earlier to the ASUS website showed it being around seven or eight hundred dollars and uh, the Micro Center website is showing that at like four hundred for some reason, which is way off. I'm pretty sure that they never sold it actually for four hundred dollars. I don't really know what the deal is with that, but I believe Micro Center was the only partner that sold it other than ASUS Direct. And uh, I actually bought this one at Micro Center. I drove all the way up to Micro Center just to buy this chair just for this video. And uh, in between then, all the way back August, September, and now ASUS has been selling them to us as factory refurbished. So we've actually got a bunch more of them and we have the core. I think we showed you guys this in our Zaku, uh, our Zaku video here. And this is the same type of chair. It's the Chariot as well, but it's called the core. It just does not have the RGB. It's still an amazing chair and it's a lot less expensive. So um, anyway, let me, uh, show you we also have a Delta headset. This is I believe a Delta S which is the premium Delta um, Some of the guys did say they really like this mouse pad for some reason I I don't really I haven't really used this computer myself all that much, but everyone seems to like this PC a lot um, So we've got our 4080 there and our Ryujin 3 ARGB and I think it all just came together great really nice looking motherboard that Z790-E and we've got the Thor power supply with the see-through window down there um, yeah, so it, it just came together perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and this computer is going to get a ton of use. We're looking forward to building a lot more PCs for you guys. Uh, please feel free to uh, write us some comments about any suggestions and ideas or constructive criticism. We'll see you in the next one.